But if you look at therapists' confidence in working with people who start, you'd be astonished. It's like 70% of therapists don't don't feel comfortable with handling people who start. 70%. Which is shocking, which means that 70% of the market, free from the fully small market, do not feel comfortable. So if what you're saying is true, they're taking money off people immorally. Not immorally, I just think it's just a case of they are providing some kind of therapy. Because as long as you get a little bit of therapy, things will improve, even if it's ever so slightly. Um, but they're just unrequipped, they're inadequate for the provision of such a therapy. And it's partly not their problem, well, their fault is the fact that they aren't being taught it and they just aren't stutterers and sick. It's the language short of it. It's those two things contributed to really bad. And that's why we all end up going to the McGuire program. It's because we haven't had any good positive speech therapy experiences before that. So that's why we're here. It's because of the situation with speech therapy. The thing is, I did like the Guard program, and one big good thing about it is the fact that it's intense, it's immersion, it's immersion therapy, yeah. an intensive therapy. You're immersing yourself in that. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. I like immersion therapy. Another big thing about the Maguire program, if not the biggest, and I've always seen it, is that the Maguire program has, is run by stutterers for stutterers, and no other course or program has that. The Starfish program is run by Anne Bright, who's a fluent speaker. And also it's so big that you really, really do not feel the sense of isolation which is so crippling for people who stammer. And we've seen this in surveys and studies that the more time you spend in the company of those like yourself, the Christosa, the happier you are, the quality of your life improves immensely. If you just socialise, like we are doing now, with people who stutter. So, it's, so things like group therapy, support groups have enormous implications for people who stutter. But it's just the case of losing the isolation, which is so crippling. It's the feeling of being different. And that's what we're also tackling with the Mr. No, no Holding Back character. Is we are okay with being different. And that's what the McGuire program, Mrs. Alton, says you can be this cool person, you can be perfectly normal. These very kind of strange mechanical sort of thing. It's like, well, I think it needs a bit furthering to get more comfortable. Do you think the character of Mr. No, Mr. No Holding Bad, do you think it has good value? I think it's fantastic. I genuinely think it's a wonderful innovation. And most importantly, it has humour. And humour is so important. The amount of stuff they have on in speech therapy textbooks about humour being integral to dealing with a problem like stuttering. Because you're basically taking the pressure off, you're saying, you guys are getting worked up about this problem, you know, it's not that much of a big deal. I mean, yeah, it's a big deal, but the whole point of humour is to be like, guys, relax. You know, it's all right, let's laugh about it. It's taking you outside of yourself and laughing about it. That's what humour does, and that's what Mr. No Holding Back does. He's a humorous, diverse figure. He's perfect. Good. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, you've you got it. Some didn't get it, but you've got it. And we've got it, haven't we? Yeah, Because you've all been it. Yeah. Yeah. I admit, I admit, and when I first saw you dressed, dressed up, I think it was on the Bristol course. No, no, Wembley. 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 I was a bit like, oh my god, what's going on? What has Simon done now? However, I have most definitely warmed to the character and I really sympathise with me. But my initial reaction was one of horror. It was like, what are you doing? You know, it's, this is just mad. But having explained to me, having thought about that a lot, I really get the character for the Yeah. My effort to help other people, really. Yeah. I'm not doing it for myself. People have missed that. People like Adam Black, they've missed it. I'm not doing it for myself. Adam Black. I really don't like the guy. <laughs> don't like him at all. I don't know, he's awful. And he's become a, is a children's teacher. He's a teacher of primary school, yeah. Would you like the joy of this book? This guy, bro. Stop holding back. I like Sally Hatchett. I Stop holding back. Ramasuman. Ramasuman. Stop holding back. 
Oklahoma. Who else ordered the J Joy House? Do you want, is it beans and chips? Beans, chips, or something? Why not? No holding back, is it? No holding back. No holding back. Would you mind, I asked you gentlemen a question so we can learn? I want to stay on the subject. I'd like to talk to you about initials. Yeah, this is why I'm a bit uncomfortable about filming. About